We're going to look behind the scenes at politics in action. A meeting to build consensus between the president, House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi, and Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer devolved into a clash. We came in here in good faith, uh, and, and, and we enter into a, a, this kind of a, a discussion in the public view. But it's not bad, but, Nancy. No, and, no, it's called it's, transparency. And, and, well, now the president is threatening to shut down the government. WBZ's John Keller is here with the political lessons of today's meeting. John? Yeah, Paula, Liam, this was a primer on how to paint yourself into a corner. At least the third time the president has invited Democratic leaders in for televised meetings that left him in a political jam. In past sessions, he cut impromptu deals on the dreamers and gun control that he had to back off of. And today, he set himself up to own a politically toxic decision. And then we have the easy one, the wall. That'll be the one that will be the easiest of all. What do you think, Chuck? Maybe not? It's called funding the government, <laughs> Mr. President. Future political leaders of America, class is in session. Government shutdowns are very unpopular. So when a political adversary tells you to your face how they'll use your shutdown threat against you, you should listen. I think the American people recognize that we must keep government open, that a shutdown is not worth anything, and that you should not have a Trump shutdown. Uh, you have the material. Oh, oh, White House did you say Trump? Trump down. Oh, oh. If it's not good border security, I it won't take it. It is very good border security. And if it's security. not good border security, I won't take it. And when they do you a favor by suggesting this public squabble isn't very seemly. So I don't think we should have a debate in front of the press on this. Let's debate in private. Okay. That's your cue yeah, to clam up. And whatever you do, don't get baited into this. Good. You know what I'll say? Yes. If we don't get what we want, one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to call, I will shut down the government. Okay, Absolutely. fair enough. Contrast the indigestion written on the vice president's face with the cats who swallowed the canary body language of Pelosi and Schumer. The president made clear that he wants a shutdown. Trump tr shutdown. He admitted he wanted a shutdown. We have a Trump shutdown as a Christmas present. Just a wild guess, I think you'll be hearing the term Trump shutdown quite a bit in the next few weeks. Now, Pelosi and Schumer seem to think the votes are there in Congress for a compromise plan that keeps the government open without full funding for the wall. If they're right, the president may find himself cast as a political Macaulay Culkin, home alone at Christmas time. Paula, Liam. John Keller, thank you very much.